Thank you. Don. Okay, Coach Johnny Martin of the uh, undefeated Allen Central Rebels. Uh, Coach, uh, your team doing a good job this year. Right. You're trying to jinx us, aren't you? Oh, no. Undefeated. <laughs> yeah, we're undefeated so far, and we know it's going to be a tough game tonight. We didn't play well uh, Tuesday night. We've uh, practiced awfully hard the last couple of days. Uh, yes, we won the hardest practice we've had today for a game, but I think we need a lot of things to work on to be ready for this crowd tonight. Well, as you know, the 58th district always seems to come down to the last few conference games out inside how the tournament uh, is seeded. And, uh, and always the district games is, is a crucial game to win. Uh, how have you prepared for this out, Roy Team, and what are some of the keys in tonight's game, do you feel? I think South Floyd is one of the best teams in the region. They're, I think they're a real contender for the regional. I think they're one of the few teams in the region. I think we can go about eight players, and I think South Florida can do the same thing. I think the big key for us is to have a good defense in Bamford. I felt like the last couple of games that we really haven't done a good job defensively. And uh, if we play it like, like we have last couple of games, South Florida will score 90 or 100 points, and we won't be able to keep up with it. So I'm hoping tonight that our team does a better job of defeating uh, South Florida on Bamford. Well, there you have the hottest news from the hottest coach of the hottest team in the 15th region. Thanks. Coach Martin of the Allen Central Rebels will be right back. You're watching WPRG TV 5 Sports. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit gearheartsecurity.com to learn more. I tell you, it's just super. I love it. Well, he was talking about it here earlier. It brings back memories when he used to line the walls and play some big ball games here in the past. That's some big ball games here, and uh, I hope we have a bunch more like that because the crowd's excellent. we got a great crowd. This is as good a crowd you'll see at any district regional game right now. Well, it's also a big ball game, big first conference game, and it'll be a big win for either one of you guys tonight. Absolutely. That's the key to it. It's a conference game, and... Uh, both teams will be playing really hard to try to get an edge up on the conference, and uh, should be a great basketball game. I know you've got, you played Allen Central once before this year. Allen Central defeated you in the preseason tournament. I thought the big Salmons boy in the middle late in the game is what uh, turned Allen Central, uh, give them a W in that game. Well, yeah, the Salmons kid had about 20 points in that ball game and hurt us. Uh, he's, a, he's a good ball player. We cannot let him get 20 tonight. We got to keep him somewhere in uh, 10 or in that range there. He can't get 20, but he did a real good job against us last time, and uh, hopefully we'll play a little bit better defense this game. Well, anytime Jeremy Hall goes out on the floor, he's going to get his 20 points. I think if you contain some of those other guys, it give your your club a lot better chance. Well, I think so. Uh, Jeremy's going to take uh, enough shots, and he's going to score. He's a scorer. He's going to get his 20, and. Uh, we just need to contain Salmons primarily. The Jenkins kid, who's a freshman, I think is a super player for them. Really been coming on strong and doing a good job for them. But uh, the big boy inside, Salmons and Turner, is the people that I think that we got to really try to contain. I think let's talk about your team a little bit. John Hall, seen him play up Pike. Well, the last time we done with your games on WPRG, and he looked awful good up there. 
Yeah, John's playing good ball for me. He's uh, he's starting to get loose. You know, some of my kids are, are just a little bit hesitant because it's a new system for them, and they're starting to get more relaxed with it. And uh, we're going to get better. We have, we haven't yet reached uh, where we're going to be. Okay, you got a good team. We wish you luck here tonight. See you later on this season. Thank you very much. Appreciate, appreciate you coming talk with us. Appreciate y'all being here. All right, thank you very much. Once again, Coach Jim Rhodes of the South Floyd Raiders. We'll be back in just a minute with more of this WPRG TV 5 Sports. Smile, girl. Act like you like each other. This is our Chicago. Stop! We're going to enjoy every minute of it. You two coming or what? Hey, wake up, brother. It is payback time. It's bigger than the two of us now. You got to decide for yourself who you're going to be. The Bellator K has landed. Consolidation, now you're with South Floyd. How long you been with them, Perry? This makes about 34 years that I've been with them, half of my both schools. And I've enjoyed, I'm going to enjoy working with Rose in this outfit. I think he's going to make you a good coach here, not only basketball, but you follow the football too, don't you, Perry? Yeah, um, yeah, I go with the football team, and uh, when, yeah, I go with the football team too. Perry, a long time uh, resident here. Of course, I understand you moved over our way over toward Ohio, and then now he's back over at MacDowell. So you've been making your rounds, but you, your heart's still here at, uh, at Will Riding in this South Floyd team, right? Yeah, it is, PD. My, my heart's here at this new school now. I think you got a good team here this year, Perry. I want to wish you luck. Appreciate you coming out and talking with us, brother. Thank you, PD. Okay, once again, Perry Jones over here at Will Riding. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a little bit. This WBRG. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. game for both these teams two big games I mean two big two big teams and a big game and once again Al Central comes in with a record of 7-0 South Floyd comes in with a record of 4-2 one of the defeats that South Floyd has taken is come by the hands of the Allen Central so they're wanting to they want a little bit of revenge of course they're on the home floor here and they've got a packed house they definitely want to look good here tonight Adam well I'm I'm, I'm sure they do they do uh, this Allen Central team the Hots team, probably in the region, 
right now, seven and zero. Uh, it sure be good for South Florida to, to get this win under the belt, but we will have a hard way to go. But this home court advantage, I have a feeling, might have something to do with it because it's a tough place to play over here. It always was in the Glory Rock when you had to play the Glory Rock Trojans. It sure won't be no different with uh, South Florida uh, Raiders. Well, they've got everything painted up. Everything's looking good here. Uh, and a big crowd on hand here and just make the big ball game. We talked about the, one of the undefeated teams in the region, I think, Allen Central and, uh, and Paintsville is probably the only two undefeated teams in the region. I think Paintsville comes in. I think they, they've got about a 5 and old record so far. So all these teams coming in strong early in the year and uh, anticipating a lot more of this. off the raft is facing at him, so we're going to go to the PA announcer right now. That was that was the nice Las Vegas style uh, starting lineup for uh, the South Raiders, and this crowd is really intense. And this is going to, this should be a battle. Okay, that's going to be Turner in there against Moore of the Raiders, and we're about ready to start action. And it sells out of bounds. And he'll go to the Raiders to start the game. 
Okay, that'll be number 12 with the ball. That is Rose. He does most of the point guard handling for the Raiders. Allen Central out in man-to-man -man defense. Moore out on the wing, and they're going to get him with the travel. Stuff with his feet. Yeah, I, believe, I believe he did, Adam. He's a little bit too quick there. And, uh, this, this is really with this, these people out on the floor here. It makes it uh, makes it a smaller uh, floor than you normally would play. You can't go after them balls on the sideline like you would on the bigger floor. You know, the, the stands is right up, right up on the floor, and if you dive too hard out of bounds, try to get one, you'll be up in the, about the third or fourth row before you know it. If you dive in the uh, in the cheering section here, you better dive, <laughs> dive in your own uh, on your own side. Or, you might yes. not come out of there. Okay, Martin, he gets it out to Jenkins, takes over the hall. Hall tries to get it inside, but it's stolen away by John Hall. Moore, three-point shot, and it's way short. Up for the rebound, Martin. Oh, and a nice look at time. But Ronnie Sammons wasn't ready for the pass. I thought Jeremy Hall should have went ahead and took the pass. Uh, uh, looked like that Ronnie Sammons was getting ready to uh, get position for the rebound. Went right off his shoulder. So South Floyd got the ball bringing the other way. Rose over the Hall, over in the corner. And the Raiders right now being patient, working the ball around. Okay. Stolen away. How it goes to the basket for the first two points of the ball game. Nice steal, nice play there by Jeremy Hall. Rose out top. Gives it around. three-point shot no good that time a little hard offensive rebound by Johnson his shot no good and Bo Rogers comes down with one and he gets fouled that was going to be on number 52 Steve Turner nice rebound in there by Bo Rogers they're going to give him two shots the Sound Central team might outside South Floyd a little bit, but this South Floyd team's physical inside. They play physical against Pottville, too. First by Rogers is good. He'll have one more. And this one goes around no good, and Turner there for the rebound. Allen Central quickly back up the court. Martin gets it, and can't get the foul. Fight for the rebound. Looking like Ronnie Sammons over the back. Let's go see. One five it is, so that's his first personal foul. Team second. Don't have to say a whole lot about the action here, Adam. It's uh, got a good atmosphere. You just kind of get caught in the flow of the thing. Totally different atmosphere than Allen Central played in. Tuesday night, and that'll be a foul out on the court. And we foul number two on Steve Turner, and quickly off the bench comes Philip Patton in for Allen Central. So it has to be a luxury for uh, Coach Johnny Martin to pull a player with the caliber of Philip Patton off the bench to replace somebody in there and start the lineup. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Philip Patton will be back in the lineup for a little Gets it inside for the two. Now go more. Good jump in the middle. Just went in there and went up over top of him. Laid it in. Nice. Jenkins with the pull up jump shot. Good. And it's four to three. Allen Central in this early first quarter of action. Hall over in the corner. He's looking inside for Rogers. His spin move and he finds himself over for the kiss shot. Nice move by John Hall. Boy, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And Howell tries to take it inside, and it goes off the Raider player. 
I believe Jeremy's going to have to take some of those outside shots and free that uh, middle it up in there a little bit for uh, Ronnie Sammons and trying to force it in there a little bit. Okay, that is Jeremy Holiday inbound, and it comes in to Martin. Jenkins over on the wing, back to Martin. Jenkins tries to find the seam on the baseline, and they say he walks. He might have walked that time, uh, Adam, but uh, he's sure a good-looking freshman, a uh, good-looking ball player. Yes, uh, you, can, you can tell he's definitely uh, has a lot of skills that, that other freshman players doesn't have. I mean, he, he's really a standout in this really well. region. Moves real well, sure does. Okay, Hall gets it over to Rose. Rose fakes and gives out to Moore. Moore, and they say he stepped on the baseline. Or no, there's a foul on the play. That's going to be on Philip Patton. That's going to be his first team four. So I was right there, Adam. I thought Alan Joe Moore might have stepped on the line there, but they yeah, that's what called, the first, too. called the first one Patton. Rose to inbounds it, comes in the hall. Hall, and that's a walk. Yep. Know where to go in there in the big ten or so. Turns it over now, and Central will bring the ball down the other way. Okay, 35 remaining in the first quarter of action. It's 5-4, a one-point lead by the Raiders. Hall out to Martin. Martin fakes and gives out to Hall for the long three-point shot short. Jenkins on the rebound. He goes up. His shot oh, nicely. Yeah. Touched off the backboard. What a shot. Big offensive rebound there and put back in. Now, this is the kind of action we, we come to these ball games for, folks. Yeah, more. I understand a lot of this. Well, you're going to see a lot more of this as they get into the, as we uh, see the districts start playing their conference games. I know Chad Sloan's come in for uh, South Floyd. He's a spark plug for his team. Rogers tries to run it down, but he goes out of bounds to the Rebels. Have Chad Sloan come in for Charles Johnson. the corner he's open and if you give him that much room he's usually going to have the same result oh. well, you know Jeremy Hall's going to score his 20 at least Adam, and uh, just about every night out there's going to have to uh, key on these other guys to see if you can't stop them we're talking about in favor of, of South Floyd oh he tries to take it underneath and he does just that to Moore a nice thread the needle pass from Hall to Moore for the two the long three-point shot short and John Hall for the Raiders with the rebound it's nine to seven two-point lead by the Rebels here in this first, first quarter back oh, a long three-point shot drain by number 24 Johnson or excuse me I take that back Chad Sloan who just checked into the game he did the same thing against Pottville last week he come in off the bench and got a couple of three-pointers that got South Floyd moving and that'll be a foul outside. That was going to be on Chad Sloan. That's going to be his first and team's first. Yes, he did. And what I said there earlier, he's spark plug for a South Floyd team. He can come in and fill it up from outside and uh, really get his team motivated. Yeah, he's it's a healthy pressure. defensive player, too. Absolutely. Hall, he pulls up for another long three. This, and he gets to set. And a long ball. And that puts him on top by two at 12 to 10. Defense come out there and made him up the three-point line, but uh, he didn't go into it. Just uh, about six foot behind the three-point line and let it fly. Okay, a long three-point shot. No good this time by Sloan. And Patton with the rebound. Martin fakes and gets John Hall off his feet, and John Hall will commit the personal. First quarter remaining. Hall gets it back off the inbounds, and he's hot right now, folks. That's three in a row, or three consecutive makes in a row. That one was only a two-pointer. I believe they gave him a three on that one, didn't 
Well, evidently they did. It's 15 to 10, a five-point lead, so that's three three-pointers in a row by Hall. And Allen Central's crowd comes to their feet. Hall takes it underneath to Rogers, and it's stolen away, or Jenkins is on the end line. Well, we're seeing some long-range shooting here early in this contest, for sure. Inbound pass stolen away by Hall. And it gets over to Jenkins. Jenkins takes it in and what a move for the score. And he gets fouled. He'll step to the line through one. Now it's going to be on number 24, Chad Sloan. That's going to be his second team third. Bucket by Tom Jenkins. Thomas Jenkins. And I do believe that South Floyd wants to time out. Allen Central on top, 17 to 10. Still a minute and 35 seconds remain in the first quarter. Let's take a quick break and we'll be straight back. You're watching and listening to WPRG TV 5 Sports. Caring for the loved ones of others during their twilight years can be an emotionally challenging task. Don't mistake that challenge as something completely draining. There's a lot of potential for a hospice nursing career to be emotionally rewarding. Hospice nurses seek to help patients live life to its fullest. If you feel this is where your heart can truly help others, email us at info at appphchs.org or call Appalachian Hospice and Home Health Services today. Well, now you missed a garage of three pointers here with Jeremy Hall. Ted Sloan come in and hit a big three-pointer, kind of broke the ice, but uh, Jeremy Hall hit three threes, also made a big steal, and come down the big assist in there to Thomas Jenkins, who goes in, lays it up for two and gets fouled, and when we come back here, he'll be at the free throw line to try to complete the three-point play. Again, remember Jenkins, only a freshman for this Allen Central Rebel team, and having a, a nice first quarter. He can't get the free throw to fall, and coming down with the rebound, Rogers for the Raiders. Rose calls out play number three. Sloan out top, gives over to Rose. Rose looking in softly more, nothing going. Moore fakes, takes it in the paint, goes up from the free throw line, his shot, no good, rebounded by Jenkins. Rogers intercepts the pass from Hall and South Floyd back on the attack. 58 seconds remaining in the first quarter of action, a seven point Allen Central lead at 17 to 10. Sloan takes it up. He has to put a high archer over Jenkins that time. Good defense over Jenkins. Maybe put it up real high there. They try to take it inside the Patton. And Patton gets it back out. Back in the Patton. His turnaround shot is blocked, but they say he's hit on the body. That's going to be on Bo Rogers. That's going to be his first team four. So they trying to work it in, just keep trying to work it in there. I think that's what Coach Martin has instructed his team to do. They don't have that wide open shot from Jeremy Hall on the outside. He's just taking it inside to the big man. As we've seen earlier, Adam and Phillip Patton can fill it up from the free throw line. He did a good job Tuesday night against Pike County Central. He misses on this, so he hits one or two, and it's 18 to 10, a 10, excuse me, a eight point Allen Central lead. Rose over to Hall. Takes it and loses it, but Rose comes out with it and Rose gets fouled in the. That's going to be on Jason Martin. And team number, foul number five for Allen Central. So South Florida be taking it in on the sideline here. See a lot different defense from uh, Allen Central tonight than we did the last game that we did against the. Uh, over and back, Pike Central. Yeah, they're playing a 1-3-1 and a 2-3 three, one and a, and a two, three. Tuesday night and tonight. They're playing the only thing they've played this first quarter is man-to-man. -man. He's done a good job. They've held South Floyd to only 10 points in this first quarter. 
think they're going to take the last shot here. Adam, there's 10 seconds remaining. Okay, Hall over to Martin. Martin with the three-point shot off the backboard, and that sums it up for Allen Central this first quarter action as it expires on that shot. Allen Central on top, 21 to 10. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back for the second quarter of action. This is WPRG TV 5 Sports. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearhart Broadband for a great offer today. Not everyone gets this excited when they discover the joy of Gearheart TV. But it happens. It's kind of a thrill to see every channel in HD. Go back in time with Replay and Restart TV. Record to the cloud. And watch TV everywhere on any device with no set-top box. Your excitement may vary, but there's a lot to cheer about Gearheart TV. Available now. Visit MyGTV.com now to sign up. Under a belt, Allen Central done pretty much what they wanted to there. They've, uh, they've played good defense. They've hit some big buckets. And just like you said there, Adam, the end of the first quarter, Jason Martin hits a big bank shot for a three-pointer. Looked like he's off balance. Kind of a last-second shot, but he goes soon nevertheless, and uh, they build an 11-point lead. Seems like about everything Allen Central threw up that quarter went in. And on the other end, South Floyd having some problems working the ball around and finding an open man for the open shot. They've uh, had to force it a few times. I think Coach uh, Jim Rose will get them uh, settled down here just a little bit. And uh, they'll come back and uh, fight their way into this ball game here for this first half set. I think Allen Central, uh, uh, they looked off good uh, that first quarter. Central has the ball to start the second quarter of action. Jenkins out on the wing, gives over in the corner to Patton. Patton out there to Hall. He's open, but he takes. He, uh, that, that's really a very, very good play by Hall that time. He had the wide open three point shot, laid it in there. And of course, Ronnie Sammons finishes it off with two. And a spin move by Rose in the paint for the bucket. 23 to 12 here in this second quarter of action, the Rebels. Patton, he had Sammons at wide open inside. Missed him, Jenkins with the nice move in the paint. And he's got some pretty good slashing moves to the basket. Yeah, I should say so. Looked real good on that. Central still in that tough man-to-man -man defense. Really giving South Floyd fits right now. Moore, his turnaround shot. Good, and that's what South Floyd needs to do more of. They need to pound it inside against this Allen Central team. Maybe that might open things up on the outside for them if they pound it inside. And there's a turnover. I think, yeah, what they're going to have to do is we're going to have to pick it up on this uh, one of their defensive end down here and kind of slow Allen Central down a little bit. They're pretty much scoring at will on uh, South Floyd so far. Hey, a new player into the game here for South Floyd. That's number 10, Ryan Hamilton. He's out at the point guard now. He's relieving Rose at that position. Also into the game for South Floyd, number 44. We'll try to get a name on that here in a minute. I believe we had the same problem with that the other night. And Hall loses it on the fast break, and South Floyd back on the attack. Oh, and that'll be a wild on Mr. Hamilton. James Patton, number 44. South Floyd. 550 remaining in the first half of action as Paul short on that three-point attempt and South Floyd has the ball and will bring it to length of the court. 
down by 11 at this point. Hall launches one. Right on target. Oh. Raiders seem to be heating up. And this crowd's definitely, they're ready to get into it. Another bucket like that. You're going to have to make a defensive stand or two here. But another bucket like that, and this crowd get hot. Sammons wasn't ready for the pass. It sells out of bounds. Good defense that time by Patton. I think the fans are anticipating a, a little bit of a run here from South Florida, Adam. Really get them back into it here, get the adrenaline flowing, get this crowd going again. Hall, oh, same spot, this is a little too hard. Salmon pulls the rebound. Quickly up the court, Hall. Oh, he had the right idea, a nice little pass over to the Patton, but it goes off his fingertips out of bounds. Okay, into the game for South Florida. That's number 23, Charles Johnson. He started the game tonight for the Raiders. Well, Jeremy Hall should have took that shot at him. He's a little bit too close to just shutting off to uh, Phillips. Well, he's trying to get his teammates involved in, in the uh, scoring of uh, the big man down under. He's a good playmaker. He sure is. Really an unselfish player, too. I mean, he's, he passes up a lot of open shots. We're talking about Ryan Hamilton, a uh, little point guard, come in. Uh, he can fill you up from the three-point line. During the preseason tournament, I think he hit three threes in the last little bit of the... Uh, That'll be an open back right there. If they didn't catch it, sure was. I don't think he had control of it. Well, it went off Hamilton's fingertips, and then it went over and back. That was an over and back on South Boyd, but no call. One out of Central Florida, I think uh, Jason Martin hit it before. Then it went off Hamilton, though. That's what I'm saying. It went off Hampton in this court. But either way, all shot no good. And that'll be a foul on back court. That's going to be on Ryan Hamilton. That's going to be his first. And he was South Ford's had a couple of shots go all the way down the basket and then just rimmed out on him. Look at those fall. Drive, Hall gets fouled. Charles Johnson on the foul. His first. Allen Central bring the ball in under. Allen Central will be shooting the bonus. Here comes in to Jenkins. Jenkins drives with his left hand, pulls up for the jump shot. No good, but still a good looking move and a, a nice shot off the move. In the corner it goes for the three-point shot by Johnson. And that's what the Raiders need. That cuts it to five, 25 to 20. 350 remaining in the first half. So the Raiders is uh, starting to find the spot now in this second quarter. They stashed their way right back into this. Uh, right back in with I thought we had a walk. Yes, we got a whiff on there. Sammons missed his shot. He gets it back, and this time he converts. South Florida, no means out of this contest, but uh, they're fighting back up there uh, close to within seven points again. Patton, he comes up with the steal. And a nice defensive effort by Hamilton, but it will remain with the Rebels. off the pitch at the free throw line. His shot no good, and I believe that'll be on Hall over the back on the rebound. It'll be Jeremy Hall's first personal foul, and team six, so from this point on, both teams will be a shooting the ball. That's got Martin stirred up over here. He's last couple of, of calls he hasn't, hasn't agreed with. Um, I can't say I don't much blame him at this point, but again, that's why we're up here calling it from the Officials are effing, I guess. Let me watch it back on WPRG and he can get a better look at that, maybe. Hamilton, open for the three. No good. <laughs> Allen Central's definitely looked to run the ball tonight. That's what they practice for, because they run it every time. And there's a charge. Blair 
good control foul, so nobody will shoot the uh, free throw shots. They're going to take it the other way, South Florida. Looks like getting ready to report into the game. Here out in Central, number 20, Kevin Stumble. He got a lot of playing time Tuesday night against Pike Central. And Hamilton takes it in the paint and scores. 27-22, back to a five-point Rebel lead. Hall with the long three-point shot, no good. And back up for the rebound, Patton. And the Raiders quickly up the court. Johnson, and that'll be a charge. He lost control. in the first half and again if you just joined us we got a 58th district battle on our hands here folks 27 22 a five point rebel lead big game for both these teams here everybody on this uh, allen central section over here that's cheering for them that stood up this whole first half stumbo Gives over to Hall. Hall pulls up through the 10-foot jump shot. No good. Thomas Jenkins with the tip in there. That gentleman's come to play ball tonight. 10 points so far for Thomas Jenkins. Boy, went way up there that time. Hall, this pass over to Rogers. He gets it to fall. He'll step to the line for one. And Martin, he's, he's way out of that coach's box. He better watch it. So he's he's really on getting, on he's getting, he's getting on. mad over there. Going to be Ronnie Sanders' second personal foul. As you said, Bo Rogers just took it and stuck it in the bucket. We'll go to the free throw line to try to convert the three-point play. Coach Martin, Johnny Martin, sitting on the hot seat down there right now. He, uh, he was up past the half-court bit, a half-court line on that one. And Rogers can't complete the three-point play and Allen Central back on the run. Inside it goes to Sammons. Credit Hall with the assist. 31-24, seven-point Rebel lead, 119 remaining in the first half. And a nice deflection by Hall. And Stumbo comes out with it. Hall. Looks in there for Patton, and it's stolen away by the Raiders. Johnson gets it back out to Hamilton. Hamilton over to Hall. Hall finds an opening from three. And that one just about hit the ceiling. That one about rain the finish shot did. What an arch on that one. Four points. A four-point game is right. 35 seconds. 31-27. And Howell oh, makes it in and scores the piece. How many three-pointers does John Howell will right have so far this first half? Two. Uh-oh. That's going to be on Ronnie Sanders. That's going to be his third. We'll see. And it is. Howell's third personal foul. Coach Johnny Martin, Martin just Jason Bevins off the, the bench. Johnny Sanders will take a seat. Okay, let's see. We have a couple of players checking into the game for Allen Central number 40, Jason Bevins. And that's the only one that's checked into the game. That's Hamilton, Ryan Hamilton, number 10. At the line. Takes his time, and the second one won't go. And the foul on the rebound. Ooh, that's going to be on Bo Rogers. That's going to be his second personal foul. Uh, let's see. I believe that's going to put Philip Patton on the free throw line. No, maybe not. Maybe Thomas Jenkins. Maybe Thomas Jenkins on the free throw line tonight. And he's taking one free throw shot and missed it. Chase to take on that lead. They still got 19 seconds left. 
Now Central up 33 to 28. Jenkins gets the first to rattle around and go, and he'll be awarded one more. Rose back into the game for the Raiders. He replaces Moore. Jenkins, second shot also good. And the Raiders will have 19 seconds to work with in the first half. And I believe that went off Johnson. It did. Right on top of that and a good call. That was off quick. I can't tell from here. Ten seconds. Allen Central has to work in this half. Seven point lead for Dylan Hall. Takes it on himself. And it's usually the result when he does that. Well, that put Allen Central out on top. 37 to 28 for the score in the first half of this contest. We're going to take a break and we'll be back at halftime here with the halftime stats and more. We're watching and listening to your Regional Sports Center, WPRG TV 5. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearheart Broadband for a great offer today. Not everyone gets this excited when they discover the joy of Gearheart TV. But it happens. It's kind of a thrill to see every channel in HD. Go back in time with Replay and Restart TV. Record to the cloud. And watch TV everywhere on any device with no set-top box. Your excitement may vary, but there's a lot to cheer about Gearheart TV. Available now. Visit MyGTV.com now to sign up. Don, let's just leave it right here, and uh, you just go ahead and pan the crowd if you like to, and I'll uh, give you the first half stats. First for oh. South Floyd, Charles Johnson with three, Alan Joe Moore with six, Matt Rose with two, John Hall with eight, Bo Rogers with three, Chad Sloan with three, and Ryan Hamilton with three for a total of 28 points. South Floyd's taken five free throw shots and hit on two of those. Nobody in foul trouble. Got Charles Johnson, Bo Rogers, and Chad Sloan each with two. Allen Central, Ronnie Sammons with six, Jason Martin with three, Jeremy Hall with 15, Thomas Jenkins with 12, Bill Patton with one. Allen Central has taken. Allen Central has taken five free throw shots and hit on two of those. Ronnie Sammons with three personal fouls, Jason Watt with two, Steve Turner with two. Well, once again at halftime, your score, Allen Central 37, 
Now Floyd, 28. A little bit of disturbance down here on the uh, floor, and I think the majority of the uh, a little over six minutes and ticking here before the start of the second half action of tonight's contest. So let's take a quick break. We'll be back with more. This is WPRG TV 5 Sports. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Caring for the loved ones of others during their twilight years can be an emotionally challenging task. Don't mistake that challenge as something completely draining. There's a lot of potential for a hospice nursing career to be emotionally rewarding. Hospice nurses seek to help patients live life to its fullest if you feel this is where your heart can truly help others. Email us at info at appphchs.org or call Appalachian Hospice and Home Health Services today.
over a minute uh, ticking down here, getting ready to start the second half. If you tuned in tonight, of course, you know it's a late night game here tonight. You'll probably sit up and watch the Metzalade and Johnson Central, which the game will come on first here tonight. Tune in again in the morning. This game will be shown in some entirety starting at 9.30, and then following that game, we'll have the Metzalade Johnson Central game on once more. So we we'll welcome everyone. So stay tuned to WPRG for the second half action in tonight's contest and also begin again in the morning at 9.30 you can watch this game and also Betsy Lane and Johnson Central. So Allen Central on top, 37, South Floyd 28. And we've got both teams back in the huddle getting ready to Get started with the second half of action, and this, the, the fan, fans had a little bit of something out of them earlier to get back into the game, but Allen Central uh, come back there and, uh, and, and kind of jumped back up and uh, took a pretty good little lead over here. Well, well they, call it, they call it the House of Pain over here, but uh, this is an animal house is pretty, pretty well how you can, can divide it tonight. People is everywhere, fighting amongst themselves in the crowd and everything. I believe, I don't know one of South Floyd's uh, fans must have wandered over this way or something that happened. Either way, though, we got a we got a good ball game on our hand. Well, we're getting ready to start uh, second half action, Adam. Let's get it back down on the floor for South Floyd to be inbounding the ball. Well, that was a weird way to start off the second half, but. We're on our way, and that's Rose with the ball. Johnson over to Hall. Hall over to Moore. In the corner to Rose. Rose fakes, goes around Turner. Lays it up, but he, um, he almost got the ball. No good, but he will go to the line. Did a good job right there. Looks like he's got the fourth foul on Ronnie Sanders. Real quick here in the beginning of the third quarter. Matt Rose goes to the free throw line to shoot two shots. Well, that'll bring Philip Patton quickly off the bench to start this second half and he'll replace Sammons. Who did indeed pick up his fourth foul. So on down the road, if this game gets back where the Raiders is in contention, which it probably will before the night's over, that could hurt the Rebels. Rose. Can't get that in the foul, and it's knocked out of bounds by Johnson. That'll be Jenkins to inbound on the sideline for the Rebels. And Martin has it in there. Paul off the pit gives over to Jenkins. Jenkins drives in the paint. And oh, gosh. Boy, he goes good with that left hand. Takes it right through the paint there, right to the bucket. I tell you, I've seen, he, it's about, out of the few games I've done so far this season, he's got some of the better moves I've seen so far. And more on the other end connects. Martin goes up for the jump shot and can't get to foul. Martin being quiet tonight for the Rebels. Uh, well, he's a pretty big score. He forced that a little bit. I think that's what he's thinking, Adam. He needs to get in the scoring column a little bit. Patton had good position that time, and that'll be an offensive foul. And foul number three on Charles Johnson, and that's two out of those three that uh, were charging fouls. Got to remind you, next Tuesday, we will be at Allen Central, where Shelby Valley travels over to Allen Central, which should be another big ball game. So. Watch your call there on Channel 5 and watch next Tuesday night. I'll tell you when. Martin over in the corner to Turner. Turner out to Howell. Over to Martin. Jenkins takes it inside to Turner and Turner walks. And ball. 6. 30 remaining in the third period of play, 39-31. May point lead by the Rebels. 
Throws over in the corner to Johnson. Now South Florida's they're trying to find the seam against this uh, tough man-to-man -to -man defense of the Rebels, and they still can't seem to find it. Jenkins gets it stripped away by Johnson. Good defensive play. Absolutely. Well, Thomas Jenkins is going to put that in the hoop. Good defense over Charles Johnson. Clean his clock. Johnson spots up for the three. No good. Off a Rebel player, they say off Turner, so it remains with the Raiders. Bo Rogers not got a lot of height in our enemy. He's, uh, he's wide and takes up a lot of room. Does a good job on the inside, South Floyd. What a walk. Yes, Rose up at his feet on the inbound. South Floyd needs to be taking advantage of those bucks they're getting. Cut into this on central loop. Goes around and his shot off again. Still believe he's trying to force it a little bit. They'll come to him. Rogers loose it and a shuffle for it. Moore gets it and then Patton Raider knocks it out of bounds. But it will remain with the Raiders. Coach Rowe calls out play number three from the bench off this inbound play. Let's see what he's got in store. Johnson back to Hall, and he's wide open. Moore on the offensive rebound, and he puts it back. Six point, Allen Central lead now. South Florida just won't go away. Hall takes it in his own hands, and drives right down the heart of the wheel right, or excuse me, wheel right. South Florida defense. Every right time South Florida makes a run, uh, Jeremy Hall gets the ball and does something like that. Comes up with a big steal. Ooh. It was lucky he didn't have that. He seemed to have the hard hand right there. But it's off, and the Raiders gets I, it over in the corner. I guess to me, he's got the hard hand every time he walks out on the... Uh, well, court. yeah, I guess you could say that. Look here, another steal. And this time he converts. Walks it up the court. And that's a big time pick that time by Johnson. They say he got a little too brutal that time. Two or four points to foul on him, and it did look like he might have used his arms there to kind of push him down after he had the charge called against Jeremy Hall, but it uh, he was just a little bit excessive there. 417. And it's a 10-point game, 43-33. Patton gives over to Hall Hart. Hall guarded closely by Rose. He gets around and gets it into Patton. Patton battling in there, and he gets it blocked. Oh, and Martin didn't like it. He wanted to foul. It was tough in there that time. They're letting him play. Johnson, he's, he's open. He's hesitating over there. He ought to go ahead and fart up when he gets it. Right there it is. Oh, and on the rebound. That'll be a foul on the red. Thomas Jenkins, first person. Yeah. Foul team, third. Yeah. They worked the ball around South Floyd. He got a good shot, but it wouldn't fall. Good board work there by Bo Rogers. So Coach Jim Rose has elected to leave uh, Charles Johnson in the ball game for four personal fouls. Three-point shot, no good by Hall, and South Floyd having a few problems finding this spot from way out there. Jenkins, he pulls up, and nicely done. That's the way you want to do it. You don't see a lane to the basket, pull up for the short jump shot. 16 points so far for Thomas Jenkins. 
inside it goes to Rogers. Rogers bulls his way past Patton. His shot no good. But guess who's there? Rose for the putback in the foul. He'll go to the line for a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. That was going to be on Steve Turner. That was going to be his third first foul. Team fourth. Into the game for South Floyd. That's number 24, Chad Sloan. Maybe he can get them started from out behind the three-point mark. He's, he's done last couple of times. They just checked into the game. He might be the hot hand that South Floyd's looking for. Rose converts the three-point play in. South Floyd comes out in some real tough full-court pressure, and that'll be a foul in the backcourt. And we on John Hall, and that's going to be his second, team's third. Oh, they definitely uh, turned up their defense a little bit here so far. Two fifty-five remaining in the third period. 45-36. Hall pulls up from the free throw line. His shot no good. And Turner with the rebound. Whoa, one explosion to the basket. Oh, I tell you what, that boy right there is a ball. Well, he's putting on a show tonight. I mean, these are some big time moves. The ball that was a walk. Moore can't get the foul and pat him with the rebound. Allen Central can stretch it on out there to a 14 point lead, and they do just that. Uh, he got coach. Coach a lot more yeah. than the throws. Up there, 49 to 36, 219 remaining in the third quarter. Let's take a quick break and we'll be back. You're watching the 15th regional basketball action on WPRG TV5. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. Well, Allen Central is look like a, uh, Allen Central we've seen earlier in, in the year, uh, with Matty Sharp right now, ahead of my hand say. I tell you, it is going to be hard to beat this team, especially in the games when they're running on all cylinders. When they got all their players into the game and playing and hitting the food, by my, by my vote, one of the top teams in the region by far. And I'd say by a lot of, a lot of votes, they're looking awful good right now for sure. I well, appreciate the PA announcer. I just heard him uh, remind the crowd to uh, watch the ball game tonight on WPRG. Immediately following you as soon as we can get back to the uh, office. We got Bill Bevins and Chuck Scoble over at Betsy Lane doing the Betsy Lane Johnson Central game. And Hall, oh, he always seems to be right there to intercept the pass. Turner over to Jenkins. Jenkins to Martin, and Martin gets fouled before the shot, I believe. And it's going to be on Chad Sloan, number 24. Oh, the oh, oh, it's going to be his third yeah, personal foul, yeah, yeah, yeah. forward. Yeah. Well, Allen Central's looking off sharp right now, doing pretty much what they want to. Uh, Jenkins gets it out to Martin. Martin back to Jenkins. Inside they take it, and Patton's first shot no good. He sticks with it and puts the second one in. Well, that has to please Coach Doug Martin there. Philip Patton uh, just coming back into his own here in the last couple of games, and uh, needs a lot of that from Mr. Patton before this year's out. Sloan with the high arching three-point shot, no good. And the Raiders continue to have problems with the shooting. Jenkins gets fouled before the shot. It's going to be foul number five on Charles Johnson, I do believe. So that'll be it. For Charles Johnson, he goes out for the game with three points. With a minute and 30. Let me say it was his fourth. I thought it was his fifth. Yeah. Sorry about 
Okay. Hall, way off the mark that time. Just one somewhere along the line, but we sure hit him with the five. Another end, John Hall converts. Oh, oh. And that may be the spark they needed. Now it's going to be on Philip Pack. Now it's going to be his second. I look for the Raiders to come out in some tough full court pressure if Hall makes this one. Well, they've still they two still two within range here. Oh, plenty of time left, plenty of chances to get back in this game. He missed his free throw. And under one minute remaining in the third period, 51 to 38, a 15 point Rebel lead. Hey. Look, lock it down. <laughs> 21 points. Large is 20. Near steal by Patton. It goes into. Johnson in, here is a steal by Hall. Hall's got about 10 steals. Nice pass oh, from Jenkins right. over to Martin, and now Six is starting to put on the show. Well, that looked nice. <laughs> University of Allen Central. <laughs> looked good that time, sure. Oh, Hall rimmed out on him, man. Oh, Moore there to put it in. He gets fouled, and he'll step to the line for a chance with the three-point play. That's going to be uh, Steve Turner, and that's going to be his fourth person. Well, I do believe he's going to have one. I tell you what, Adam, we've yeah. seen some awful good basketball moves and plays and shots. Yeah. Definitely don't look like it's the first of this basketball season. These teams look like they went through about half the season. South Floyd in full court pressure, but it doesn't affect the Rebels. Three big kicks left in the third quarter. Patton the inbound, it comes into Martin. Martin turn around, push shot, no good. And that'll do it for the third period of action. With Allen Central on top, 55 to 41. Stay tuned, we'll be back for the fourth and final quarter of action here from Wheelwright. The South Floyd Raiders home floor. More than ever, life is full of change. And sometimes change is good. Same with your cable package. By upgrading to streaming with Gearheart TV, you get a ton of features and content. That's entertainment for everyone, no matter what they watch or how they do it. Change doesn't have to be a challenge either. Streaming with Gearheart TV is easy to use on the devices you already have. Ready for change? Contact Gearheart TV and make the switch to streaming today. Central's uh, it was awful good. More or less their, their third quarter for sure. Uh, South Floyd having problems finding the range from outside. And that's more or less one of the couple of things that kept them in the first half. And what a way to get it started off in the fourth quarter. That's how for the trade. A 17 point deficit now facing the Raiders. Yeah. 
Sloan tries his look, and they finally find the mark. Fifty-eight, forty-four. Martin over. Four salmons for the easy score. Somebody didn't do their assignment that time on full court pressure. They did not get back. I thought Ronnie right, Sam was going to slam that. Sloan tries another three from the same exact place, and he nails it. Jenkins. foul on that one too. Nice move over Philip Patton. Rose checks back into the game, replacing Hamilton for the Raiders. Well, what stopped the action there, Adam? The official timeout, Jenkins was limping there a little bit. They just want to check on him, but he appears to be all right. Rose takes it to the bucket. No good. Patton there for the bound. Jenkins, spin move. No good, a still good move though. Out of bounds, he'll remain with the Rebels. And it comes to Martin. Martin gets it in there. And you can really see the chemistry coming around with this Allen Central team. Sloan banks it off the backboard. And he's trying his best to get this Raider team sparked. Inside it goes to Sammons. He fakes, goes up and blow, blows the wide open layup. He sticks with it, though, and can't get his second one to fall either. Right here's where the Raider needs a big bucket. Right here's the one-man team right here. Bingo. Oh. oh. Hall takes it up in there, and he's fouled. How many times has South Boy done that this half? They've had an opportunity on the three-point play the old-fashioned way at least 10 times in this second half. Oh, Double time oh, now on Jason yeah, Martin, his oh, third. Yeah. Oh, John Hall oh, goes to the free throw line, try to convert that three-point play. With a chance to cut the lead down to 12 points. I tell you what, Adam South Florida's not playing, uh, they're not playing real bad ball. Allen Central just uh, getting them hot spurts. Hurt them. Hall completes the three-point play, and it's a 12-point game, 64-52, and there's a foul in the backcourt. Uh, well, that foul on Charles Johnson. Johnson. That's his fifth personal foul. And the foul number six. Replacing now with this, he probably put Ryan Hamilton in. Now he's going to go back with uh, Bo Rogers, looks like. Five minutes and 58 seconds, a lot of time this contest, Adam, 64 to 52. The Raiders out and full court man to man. Oh, it's not man to man, it's a 2 2 1. That was on Allen Joe Moore, and that's his first personal foul. First personal foul, team seven. So that'll send Hall to the line. He'll have one in the bonus. And he connects on the first. That's the first free throw he's taking in that. Yeah, he do it. Second one also right on the money. And he puts the Rebels in a little better position. Rose all the way to the basket. And that'll be a foul on Patton as he got him with the body. Yeah, Philip Patton with that be his third personal foul. Matt Rose with the free throw line. That's his third personal foul. So the line shooting up and down the floor, but uh, a lot of fouls being called here late in this contest. Those 
Takes him about three dribbles, eyes the basket, and the first goes around and goes in. And the second one's off, got there for the rebound, Stumbo. Foul for the remaining. And let's see. Raiders steal and then a walk call on Sloan. Looked like a little soccer action down there. Kicking it around. Okay now, folks, it's time to let them play here a little bit. Go Rogers. Well, Looks like uh, Jason Martin will be there in the free throw line. Hey, the way they let him play there at first half, he really wants to down right now and call his picky fouls. Martin, first is in there. But the second one's a little hard, and the rebound out to Martin. That's about the way it's went for Allen Central tonight. Been moved by Hall in the paint. Nice dish up the pattern for the score. That's the way you do it right there. Like you said, the University of Allen Central. Sloan fakes, goes around, his shot, no good. Rogers on the rebound, he takes it up and puts it in. Closely by Stone, a little bit too closely. As a matter of fact, we checked Stone's fourth. Kevin Stumble goes to free throw line. Kevin's played a good four game, but uh, he's yet to score, so see if we can get in the paper here on these free throw lines. Well, he won on this attempt as Moore rebounds and Rose gets it up the floor. Hall off the pick, goes up as a two-point shot and rebounded by Patton. Patton really cleaned the boards right now for Allen Central. Hall intercepts the pass. Over to Rose, Rose goes up against Patton. No good, Moore's in there though, he takes it up, no good. What do we have? Out on Philip Pat looks like it's going to be his fourth personal foul. He went over the back of Alan Joe Moore. Alan yeah. well, Joe Moore goes to free throw and shoot the bonus. He's taking one free throw. Shot tonight, hit it. This in the fall, though, and the rebound goes out of bounds, and they'll remain with the Raiders. Three-pointer in this situation put it right back to a 10-point deficit. So let's see, still plenty of time for 18 remaining in tonight's ball game. Sloan back in the corner to Hall. Could it be? No, a little hard. And Allen Central's only giving them one shot. Matt Rose first personal foul. They didn't want to send that gentleman. Jeremy Hall back to the free throw line. Turner reporting back into the game. He replaces Salmons. Oh, Salmons has still got a little bit of a tender knee. Yeah, I understand he had some knee surgery a while back. One of two, and Sloan quickly gets it up the floor, and one shot. And that 
Matt Rose will pick it up and foul pretty quick. That's two in a row. It'll be his second. Jeremy Hall will go back to the free throw line. So he hit on the first and missed the second the last time. It looks like South Floyd is going to make Allen Central hit the free throws down the stretch if they wish to keep this lead. And that's the man you don't want on the line for Allen Central if you are going to make him shoot. Well, he's taken that's his fifth one. He's hit four of them, so it's pretty good to see. Seventy-two to fifty-eight, a fourteen-point Rebel lead. Three fifty-seven still remaining. Sloan finds himself opened up top, and there it is. Three days looking for, and here's the full court pressure of the Raiders. Sloan has it out. He takes it all the way in. Good. And the Raiders are knocking on the Rebels door. What's well, one man wrecking crew here? Oh, nice full court transition. Fast break style play that time by the Rebels. Oh, that's a walk by Rose. No call. Well, turn him loose. Sloan. Oh. oh. But he feels it. Well, I wonder why everything he's throwed up with except that one foul's going to be on number 52. Getting hired up over there again. Bo Rogers, as you said, on the line, and he's got a chance to cut it back into single digits here, Adam. 74 73, 309 remaining in this last quarter. This Chad Sloan's been a one man wrecking crew here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, he's unleashing bombs. 15 points in the fourth quarter. Rogers misses, and Allen Central will have a chance to tack on a couple more points. The Raiders really needed them free throws there. It's Martin, no, they get him with the charge. That's going to be Jason Martin's fourth personal foul, and that's a big break for Cal Floyd. And once again, the fans for Allen Central definitely don't agree with that. <laughs> we have to stay here and be neutral. <laughs> oh, they asked South Florida. That gives them a big break because Jason Martin uh, put that ball in. I thought he might have got fouled on that. Let's just leave it right here, Don. I thought he might have got fouled on that shot. But to call him for the charge, the uh, hoop was good. But we'll say he waved it off. They got him for the charge. Still two minutes and 58 seconds. Floyd's trying to uh, find stretch your way back in here. And Adam, what about this Chad Sloan? He's coming here in the fourth quarter. He's hit three three-pointers. They made three other baskets for 15 points. He had uh, one three in the first quarter. That gives him 18 points real quick. I tell you what, he, he, he's a heck of a six man to have, I'd have to say that. He don't make his way into the starting line up here pretty soon. Uh, I'd say it's just uh, a game plan that Coach Rose has got is to keep him at six man because he, he deserves to be in there. Well, it seems like to me he's, uh, he's, he, he's far enough every time he gets in the ball game, and I think he, he'd rather bring him off the bench and uh, so he won't get out there and get the foul trouble too early because he can definitely fill it up from the outside, and he's proved that here again tonight. South Floyd, uh, the fans are getting fired up again. Allen Central, uh, they kind of feel South Floyd is coming back on them. And South Floyd will be uh, inbound the ball, bringing it all the way down to their end of the floor as play continues. So, Adam, let's get it back down on the floor. Gets 
it over to Sloan, over to Rose. Rose goes around and tries to get in the more. It's knocked out of bounds, but it will remain with the Raiders. That'll be Rose to inbound. And he gets it in the more underneath. And Hall comes out with it. Goes up and his shot good. And that cuts it down to single digits. A nine point lead, 74 to 65. Sloan with the big steal. And his shot no good. Rebounded by Patton. Big rebound. Allen, I mean, excuse me, South Floyd by no means out of this ball game. Jenkins gets it over in the corner to Patton. Right now, Allen Central just laid back. They do have that nine-point lead. No rush. We a little uh, few ticks off this clock right now. I think that's a smart move by Coach Johnny Martin. Uh, Under two minutes left now. South Florida got a little bit of momentum going right now, and he's going to try to take care of the ball. Well, they're doing a good job right now. South Florida will have to foul. And there it is, and that's not the man they wanted to fall. That's going to be on Matt Rose, and Coach Jim Rose is standing up. A chant, foul him, foul him, foul him. Well, a lot of precious seconds are to tick off the clock, Evan. I think that's only uh, a chance ahead, though. They're going to have to put them on the line and make them beat them from the free throw line. Takes time out, a minute, 37 seconds remaining. Allen Center on top, 75 to 65. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with more 58th District basketball action here from Hill Rock. It's WPRG TV 5 Sports. Caring for the loved ones of others during their twilight years can be an emotionally challenging task. Don't mistake that challenge as something completely draining. There's a lot of potential for a hospice nursing career to be emotionally rewarding. Hospice nurses seek to help patients live life to its fullest. If you feel this is where your heart can truly help others, email us at info at appphhs.org or call Appalachian Hospice and Home Health Services today. Jim Rose in the huddle with South Floyd and gives his team's final instructions before they go out for the last minute and 37 seconds of this contest. South Floyd has probably scratched their way back into this game a time or two, but Allen Central just keeps making the big buckets when they have to have them, and uh, they're making the free throws too, Adam, and uh, they're making it off hard on South Floyd. I'd say Rose's main emphasis right there in that huddle just then was telling them they have to turn that defense up and they have to foul quick, especially after a score. And one of their main in, another main emphasis he might have talked about is keep it out of the hands of Hall. And I'm talking about Jeremy Hall because he's hot from the line. I don't know how they do that. this one and South Florida with the chance to go to cut it to eight or even seven on a three-pointer. Goes on the baseline he goes up against Patton can't get to fall five for the rebound and it comes out to Jenkins. Martin and he gets fouled. That was awful close to an intentional as he grabbed that. Uh, Jim Rose was wanting Alan Joe Moore to uh, foul Philip Patton that time. That may have been what they uh, had planned in the huddle here. He's talking to uh, Alan Joe a little bit. But uh, nevertheless, Jason Martin goes to the free throw line. And he can't get to foul, so Moore comes down for the rebound, and the Raiders still with time left. 
Sloan with the long bomb, nowhere close. I knew that was going to be way off. And Patton gets mugged underneath. They didn't let him get away from him that time. So, well, you don't know who got him. Different ones of them, man. They were going to let him get the ball out there without fouling him, but still, Madden's a good free throw shooter. And he'll get to put that to the test here right short. And another missed free throw, so the Rebels giving the Raiders opportunities here. Sloan takes it back into Moore. Moore works around, and his shot no good. And Patton there with yet another big rebound, and he's fouled in backcourt quickly. Bo well, Rogers will be the man in the foul. That's what it is for. And they're going to make Phil Patton do it until he does it right. The top free throw shooter he is, I'd say he may sink these twos. Missed the last two front ends. So, so, oh, that was way off, so he's he's off from the mark right now. He don't have no confidence. Or it didn't look like it didn't happen. And Sammons comes up with a big steal. And Rose right there with the steal, and he gets fouled behind the three-point line, and that'll be three free throws. I'm pretty sure that's what they call. And I think foul number five on Jason Mark. Three shots. So this could cut it to seven with 37 seconds remaining. So Jason Martin will leave with four, six, eight, ten points. And five personal fouls. I'd say that's a little bit under his scoring average, gentlemen. He's played a pretty good ball game here tonight. Come in for Jason Martin. Kevin Stumbo? Yeah. Well, that's not going to be any help. you got to hit them free throws in this situation. Rose's second one, no good either. So the Raiders have went cold here in the last two minutes of this fourth quarter. And number three comes out two and Sammons gets the rebound and gets fouled. That should pretty well do it, I would say, for the Raiders and it looks like Allen Central's going to keep that perfect undefeated record going. Step in for one more and a chance to put it out to a 12-point lead with 35 seconds remaining. And he does just that. Paul. And he connects with the three-pointer. And quickly up the court to Sammons. He's wide open for the deuce. And that'll do it. The Allen Central Rebels will extend their record out to 8 0. Moore's shot good with 10 seconds remaining. It's a little bit too late. All down to Salmon's out of bounds with three seconds remaining. So all that's left is the final ticks. Last shot is no good, and I'll do it for tonight's ball game. Allen Central comes out on top, 79 to 70. Adam, rather good ball game here tonight. South Floyd come out and they played hard, but uh, they took a couple of uh, cold streaks from the shooting field. And against this Allen Central Rebel team, you can't afford to have off nights like that. Okay, we'll be back for the final tabulation here and the closeout of tonight's contest. You're watching and listening to exciting basketball action on WPRG-TV 5 Sports.
When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. South Floyd comes out on top once again here tonight, 79 to 70. Adam, I thought uh, South Floyd got off a good game, but uh, Allen Central looked uh, real good there at times. Well, Allen Central was just giving them one shot at the basket, and they was rebounding awful well. And uh, with the couple of coach streaks that South Floyd had, there uh, really no chance with as good as Allen Central was playing. But they stuck in it, and they did play hard, and there'll be a lot closer battles between these two teams before the season's out. Well, I think this is just a preview of uh, things to come in this 15th region, and especially in the in the 58th district. Here, the, when you get Prestonburg and Betsy Lane, and these two teams are hooked up, anything could happen. Well, this 58th district, like you said, it definitely should be uh, Quite a lot of competition in that district, and overall in the 15th region too, so uh, pretty well summed it up. Okay, let me give you the uh, final stat here, rundown on tonight's contest. We'll go with South Floyd Raiders first. Charles Johnson with three points, Alan Joe Moore with 16, Matt Rose with seven, John Hall with 18, Bo Rogers with five, Chad Sloan come in late and put on the show there in the fourth quarter of the 18 points. Ryan Hamilton with three for a total of 70 points. Now for Allen Central, Ronnie Sammons with 12 points, Jason Martin with 10, Jeremy Hall with another terrific game with 30 points. Thomas Jenkins, I thought looked super here tonight with 18 points. Uh, let's see, Philip Patton with nine points for a total of 79 points. So once again, Adam, uh, Jeremy Hall looked awful sharp and so did Thomas Jenkins for this Allen Central team. Well, Hall, uh, I've, I've said enough for, uh, about him over the last couple of years. I got to put in a few good words about this Jenkins and, and the moves this guy made. Really impressive freshman player out there for the South Central team. Well, Johnny Martin has to be tickled with his team. So does Jim Rose. They've got uh, they've got quite a bit to work on, but uh, I think he can see through the uh, he can he can see through them right now, and he's going to have a good team later on in the year. Uh, he'll be ready to get after them, no doubt. Okay, thanks for watching. Once again, you watch this game again in the morning at 9.30, along with Betsy Lane taking on Johnson Central. It's been nice having you. I'm P.D. Gearhart, along with Adam Gearhart, Dr. Donald Bevins on the camera. Thanks for watching. This is WPRG-TV 5 Sports.